I mean, just think about the technology of face recognition. Now, within the next six to 12 months, every modern social networking website uh, will have the capacity to recognize people in the photos that you upload and match them to some of the other users on the network. On some websites, this is already happening. Right? And then think about how easy it would be for the Iranian government, instead of you know, building on the example I gave you earlier, instead of uploading 50 photos and circling people's names in red and whatever faces in red and asking others to identify uh, if they recognize anyone, they'll just compare the photos from protests with photos that activists themselves uploaded from parties, social gatherings, and whatnot, and identify who all of them are. Um, right? And the technology for that is being researched and created in Western companies and in Western universities as well. You actually see the Chinese government funding some of this technology uh, at UCLA. Uh, was, you know, American universities being very happy to receive money to do research on something as innocent as face recognition uh, without realizing that this technology will be very easily turned towards dissidents and anyone who's not. Um, the other thing I think we have to keep in mind is um, uh, the proliferation of mobile phones, uh, which again creates a lot of vulnerabilities for activists. Um, what happened uh, in Belarus, country I come from last month, I think, uh, gives you a very good example. Uh, so uh, there were presidential elections last December, December 19th, and there were protests following the elections on the main public square in Minsk, the capital. And a lot of people showed up uh, with their mobile phones, and a lot of people got arrested, 600 people got arrested during the protests, and now there are reports that the government is actually asking uh, mobile operators, you know, the companies that run mobile networks in Belarus, for details about anyone who showed up in that particular square at that particular moment with a mobile phone. Because this information can easily be traced by mobile operators, because all of those phones have to connect to towers. Uh, right, so it's actually possible for the government to go and learn about people who chose to oppose it by showing up on the square with their mobiles, right? And again, the easy solution here is, well, don't take your mobiles with you when you go to protest, leave them at home, which uh, is probably a good idea, but then it cancels out some of the, uh, you know, early promises of social media and technology, because people thought that by having your mobile phone at a protest, you would actually be able to coordinate with others, and, you know, your protest will thus become, um, you know, uh, much stronger. Thank you.